Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to easily roller on gel coat when redoing or changing the color on a boat. Now this is a project boat I bought. It's a Carolina Skiff J16. Um, did a lot of little fiberglass repair on it. There was just a, a tremendous amount of little holes that had to be filled. But really, I wanted to change the color. Um, so to gel coat, there's three easy steps. You, you sand the hull, you wash it down with acetone, and then you apply the gel coat. This particular boat had a lot of extra drilled holes through not only the gunnels, but the side of the hull um, and also the deck of the boat. I repaired those. I covered those repairs on a separate video. Um, and I want to use this boat not only for fishing and uh, crabbing and clamming, but as a duck boat in the winter. So I wanted to change the color. Uh, one of the steps was to remove the bottom paint. And I used a product uh, from Total Boat called Total Strip for this. It worked fantastic. I uh, took off 20 years of bottom paint uh, overnight, and then I just, you know, sanded to finish it. Um, in order to gel coat, I wanted to remove whatever bottom paint was on the upper portion of the gunnels. Um, so after using that Total Strip project, uh, product, I just used an 80 grit on an oscillating sander, and I sanded away the, the remaining bottom paint. And at the same time, I then just quickly gave uh, the whole upper hull a sanding with that same 80 grit. Now that's not a lot of work. You don't have to get, you know, sand away all of the gel coat. Um, you just want to scuff it up a little bit. Then I wiped it down with acetone. I let that dry and then I started to apply the gel coat. Now you have to wait until you have a decent day. You don't want it to be too windy where you're going to be blowing leaves and dust into the gel coat. It's got to be over 50 degrees. I use the six inch, uh, quarter inch nap roller. I found these at Home Depot. Uh, they were only, you know, five or six bucks and they, they really did a nice job. You were able to apply a nice, even, thin coating. Now, the trick that I used is, just like when working with fiberglass, if the fiberglass remains uh, wet, you can apply additional coats. Uh, before I go on, I forgot to mention, I'm using gel coat with wax. So I applied one coat. One coat did not cover the white very well at all. So before that first coat dried, I just went back over it and I covered it with a second coat. And really, I'm just trying to give nice, even uh, strokes, uh, not have any uh, drips or any thick spots, just as, as even as possible. The whole process really didn't take all that long. Um, when you're mixing the gel coat, um, general rule of thumb is two teaspoons of hardener to a quart of gel coat. So this is after two coats and you can see again uh, covering that that white uh, with the dark green didn't do such a good job but the third coat worked magic. Um, the third coat I, I just went back over again before it was dry. If you waited until it was dry you could still give it another coat but you'd have to sand lightly um, and then wash it down with, with acetone again. So this is the finished product after I've applied also a new coat of bottom paint. So it's a dark green. It's not the drab green that most duck hunters use, but I wanted the boat to look good for, you know, for fishing and clamming and whatnot. And the duck blind that I'm going to make, uh, the, the weeds are going to actually cover the majority of the hull. And this is the finished product. A very easy do-it-yourself project, uh, how to apply gel coat with a roller. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would absolutely love it to hear some feedback in the comments section. Uh, I'd like to give you an invite to join us uh, or to check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Um, I've got a whole bunch of other uh, do-it-yourself nautical and boating related projects on there. Thank you very much for watching.